Hi everyone! So if your collection is anything like mine, you have these things laying around. And you have absolutely no use for them. For anyone who doesn't know what these are, these are Piraka masks. That originally came with the Piraka on their canisters. They were designed to be added into the lid so LEGO could personalize each Piraka canister without having to do specific molding for each Piraka. Thus, they could put more money toward giving us new parts in that year. Now, you could remove these from the lid itself and have a cool collectible. But after that, they really are useless. Aside from the clips, which were used to hold it to the lid, they have absolutely no standard LEGO connections on them. Which most likely means they got tossed aside and we were sad that we didn't get to have an alternative Piraka mask. So today I'm going to show you how to connect these to a standard Piraka head. Even with there being no connection points, I'm still going to show you how. So the first thing you're going to need is any one of these Piraka canister masks. Next, you're going to need one of these standard Piraka heads. And then the last thing you'll need is an elastic band. That's it. That's all you need. So, uh, I'm going to use Radax uh, canister head just because contrast between these two colors. Move those back out of the way. So, what you're going to do here is uh, I'm going to focus on what I'm doing so you can see. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the mask and you're just going to set it over top of the face. And these two pieces look like they were molded for each other, though they didn't follow through with making sure that uh, they could properly connect. So I personally think that was a real missed opportunity there. This would have been cool to have as a standard mask without the spine and everything. So now we take the elastic band and we're just going to slip it over top of slip it over top of the clip right there and then we're going to put it over the other clip just like that and so what i did here is i slipped it over top of the first ridge of the large clip at the bottom here and then did the same on the other side and so what happens here is because of that ridge where the clip actually would connect to the canister the elastic's not coming off and so the elastic sits up in a the, just above the, the hinge where the jaw the, where the where the hinge of the where the jaw hinge would be and below it and so this mask is not coming off like if I pull it it's going right back now if you pull it extensively it will come right off but uh, it's pretty seamless can't even tell that it's there it uh, works perfectly fine like I can shake it around and you can you can hear it's wiggling but it's not coming off so that is perfect. And of course, all three of the standard uh, G1 eye stock pieces still fit in the, uh, the head itself with absolutely no interference for all six of the Paracas canister masks. So it works absolutely perfectly. Now, I showed it with Radak, but I'm gonna quickly talk about these ones. So all of the canister heads do not fit exactly the same on the uh, headpiece. So Radax, Avax, and Thox all fit on perfectly fine. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. There's like some minor gappage uh, around uh, where the cheeks are. But other than that, I, there's really nothing you can complain about considering these pieces were never meant for each other. Hack hands is probably the worst. You put it on the head and there is so much gappage or, or gap around the gums there and the eyes do not line up at all. So if you put an eye stock in uh, this headpiece, you won't be able to see it because the eyes sit way too low. And now Zactan and Vezok are easily the best out of the bunch because you don't even need the elastic to get these to work. Allow me to demonstrate. So what's happening here is there's a, uh, a ridge just below the eyes on these canister masks and there's a ridge right below the, the uh, eyes on the Piraka head. So what happens here is uh, you put the ridge on the Piraka mask under this uh, ridge here and uh, it just slides on like that should slide on there we go see just like that 
and it stays. And you can shake it around uh, and it will stay, but bumping it hard enough and it will come off. So I still recommend the elastic, but it can stay on. And here's Zactan. There's a little bit of uh, warping for Zactans, but it still works perfectly fine. I think it looks really good. The eyes line up pretty much perfectly. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that is how you attach a standard Paraka canister mask to a standard Paraka head with an elastic band. It's that easy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. And with that, I will see you all next time.